The cars in this lot are worth millions of dollars and LMPD says it's the way they were hidden on our streets that made this investigation so unique. Last week, a major announcement from LMPD executing six search warrants to recover dozens of stolen vehicles and make several arrests. We're not done yet. Sixth Division Impact Detective Brian Resha says late last year, LMPD learned luxury vehicles, many stolen out of Florida, we're driving Louisville streets. Investigation started off with two stolen cars and we spanned into over time over about an eight month period. I think we got 31 stolen vehicles with help from other agencies. Investigators found the cover up a process of cloning VINs. They're changing that number and then they're creating a fake title and then they're pushing the title through the county clerk's office. Russia says then you end up with a license plate matching the VIN in the window or door sticker. You've essentially created a car that doesn't exist. The sophistication of the operation makes it different than a typical stolen car case. Russia says many of the cars had been stopped before flying under the radar. And it was almost impossible for us on the street to be able to detect that the cars were stolen because if you ran the license plate, it would come back to the car. As for a motive, some are being driven every day. Money and a free nice car. Others could be about the payout. Two, three, four hundred thousand dollars. Investigators still don't know how the cars are stolen or who is responsible for cloning the VINs. They do know the other states will want to know about the suspects who once had these cars to piece the rest together further down the road. LMPD says the investigation is still open. They anticipate more charges to come. In Louisville, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11 on your side.